There's never been really a gear bag specific video on this channel, mainly because I've always thought they were just kind of boring, you know, they're just bags. So what's there to really talk about? But about two years ago when HK Armory released the Expand a Backpack, I thought it was kind of interesting. So two years ago, we're reviewing it now. When I first saw these HK Army Expand backpacks, they kind of just looked like a normal backpack, you know, it looks like a bag. But then you can unzip the bottom and expand it and then make the thing much larger. So all zipped up, these things are 35 liters. 35 liters is kind of typical average bag size, we'd say, like, you know, typical duffel bag size. HK Army also make a larger gear bag that's 75 liters. So, you know, just comparison wise, those 75 liters, you know, twice the size roughly. But when you expand the bottom of these expand backpacks, you add 10 more liters, increasing the overall size to 45 liters. The whole bag is made of a very solid, like Cordura fabric. We're seeing it in all kinds of gear bags and other things that just need to take wear or, you know, heavy abuse. On the outside, you can see there are four pockets. You got two on each side. Uh, and there's just like kind of regular zipper pouches. There's nothing like special on the inside. There's no like mesh or like other zipper pockets or like organization on the inside. They're kind of just pockets to hold extra stuff. The main entry is gonna be on the top, so you unzip this top lid and you, you can get main entry to the bag. There's also a zipper pouch on the top of that lid. And on the inside, they've actually made a special compartment to put your gun in some barrels. So you can kind of just unvelcro this area and there's a little like slot or like area you could put a paintball gun in, or you could really probably put two if you use like a microfiber and kind of separate them out. You could probably put two guns in there pretty easy. And there's also these barrel spots that you could put single piece, like whole complete barrels in, uh, or just use barrel backs, barrel tips. They slide in there really easy. There's also a large mask compartment on one side of the bag. You just unzip it and a mask's gonna go in there. It's microfiber lined. It's large so you can hold really any mask. This right here is the base GSO, I think GSO, base, base something mask. These are really big and it easily fits inside there. So really it's gonna take any mask you wanna put in there. And since it's a backpack, you're definitely gonna get backpack straps. So it does have you know, backpack straps so you can wear it like a backpack. Comes with that sternum strap so you can just make it really secure. What I like on these things is how the backpack straps are kind of cut in on the sides a little bit. Maybe that makes it fit your shoulders a little better. But I like how you can shorten the straps really short and then kind of just use the straps as a carrying handle. And then on the opposite side of the mask compartment is where you'd unzip to expand the bag. So just like the mask compartment, you just unzip it and then you can pull the bag out to expand it that 10 additional liters from the 35. So now it makes it 45 liters so you can just shove more stuff in there. And I just really like the versatility of these, right? I mean, you can have like a smaller size bag if you're not taking all the paintball stuff to the field. But if you're trying to take more stuff, maybe you're going to like a scenario over the whole entire weekend. Maybe you're gonna play Saturday and Sunday. So you wanna take like an extra pair of pants or like an extra jersey or something like that. You could expand it just to carry more stuff. And even then, right? Like even at this 35 liters, it can still carry a lot of paintball stuff. So you can see in this thing, I really did get a lot of stuff. So I was able to put my knee pads in there uh, and really some sweatpants because I didn't wanna like put my dirty paintball pants directly in this new bag. So uh, sweatpants, elbow pads, my hoppers in there, my control from Bunker Kings. I was able to get my gun, the Geo. I could have mask in there, barrels, my pack, all kinds of stuff. So I really get a lot of stuff in there. I mean, really that's pretty much all of my paintball equipment. The only things I'm personally taking to the paintball field more uh, is camera equipment. So I actually do use a really big bag because I'm putting like half paintball stuff and like half camera stuff in there. But I think for normal people, we really don't need these huge, large 100 liter gear bags. I mean, like that's all my paintball stuff in 35 liters. If I had three times that size, like, I don't know what I'm putting in there. So I don't think it's really necessary for a lot of us to spend $250 on gear bags when we can get these like, you know, smaller HK bag, for instance, that are 110 to $120 that are versatile uh, and just not a bunch of wasted space. One of the things that I really like about these is those backpack straps. So I hate the paintball fields, right? Like I get out of my car and I put my rolling gear bag with wheels in a gravel parking lot. And I have to like roll my gear bag in a gravel parking lot, like it just doesn't work. So having the backpack straps on, I just put the bag on and you can just walk, you know? It's much easier than trying to wheel a huge gear bag or just, you know, lug a huge gear bag around. So I really like backpack straps. 
And you know, one of the things I used to hate a lot about paintball tournaments and like traveling to these events was we get to the field and then your tournament or your field is like half a mile away and you gotta walk through grass, but it rained the night before, so it's all muddy and you're like, God damn it, how do we get our stuff over there? It's really annoying, but if you had this expand bag, you just, you know, put it on like a backpack because you don't have to wheel it like all the other gear bags. So I like these things, uh, if you can't tell. Uh, they're made well, they're $110, so it's really like half the price of some of the other larger paintball bags out there. Uh, they're made well, it's made of that really good fabric that should last a long time. The zippers are nice. It's pretty cool, the HK Army Expand Bag. The only part that's bad about these uh, is HK's been out of stock for quite some time, so they might be a little hard to find. 